G'day Glav here, welcome back and thanks for checking back in. If you haven't done it already, please hit that subscribe button. Well, this is part two, therefore day four of our northern tour. We leave Pai nice and early and we generally head round the Mae Hong Song Loop in an anti-clockwise direction heading south. But we don't go as south as Chiang Mai. Before we get there we throw a left and we start going north again towards the northern Thai-Burmese border. On the day we do about 332 kilometres. On day five we do we head towards Nan, about 314 kilometres, via Puchifar, which is on the Lao border. This is going to normally be an excellent technical ride, but hey, as we always say, what's a fantastic ride in the dry is a nightmare in the wet, and that's what it turned out to be. Day six we head south from Nan. Um, down to Loy, more glorious roads. I've decided for years that I wanted to go across Lake Siskiyou Tech, but that was a mistake, I've got to tell you. A, the dam is so low, so it's hard actually getting off the barge, especially when they've had a bucket load of rain and you're trying to go up a hill that's a foot thick in red mud on a Harley Davidson. Not a great idea, didn't have a lot of fun with that. As I said last time, these are some of the best riding roads you'll find anywhere in the world. Hope you enjoy them as much as we did. Yeah. Well, it's day four of our ride north, our bucket list ride to the northern borders. Just packing the bikes. Today we're off to Chiang Rai. Um, fortunately I've been able to find a place that has a tyre for me. Now, I don't really want to replace the tyre because I have a brand new one sitting in Pattaya waiting to go on my new rim when it arrives this week but I don't have much of a choice when the tyre's looking like that. Anyway, happy days. We've left Pi. We're on the, still on the Mae Hong Song loop, but at the final part of it. We're actually generally heading south as if we were going to Chiang Mai, but we're going to, about 80 k's down, about 40 k's short of Chiang Mai, we're going to turn left to Mae Malay, at Mae Malay, and then head north again um, in a northeasterly direction and hit the um, Burmese border again, follow that along and then cut south down to Chiang Rai. Let's hope the rain stays away before I get this tyre changed. But look at this riding. Nothing better. Just found this little coffee shop called the Witch's House on the side of the mountain. Just what the doctor ordered, perfect. So goodbye Mae Hong Song Luke, we've just thrown a left. We're heading northeast up to the top border of Thailand, which is still the Burmese Myanmar border. I haven't travelled these roads before, so we'll see how we go. Happy friggin' days. Yeah! I'm about 60k south of Fang, heading north towards Fang. And guess what? More nice, beautiful roads. Not as tight as Mae Hong Song. Faster, nice Harley type cruiser roads. Northern Thailand for ya. We're probably running parallel Thai Burmese border at the very north, um, whilst the border also runs north south, it also runs east west. Burma hooks around the top of Thailand, and we're running parallel to that border. Wouldn't you know it, an hour out of sight of Chiang Rai, 
this is down. We've actually stopped and put some of our wets on. We're already pretty wet, but anyway. That's the way it goes. And some pretty tight roads too, and I've got to be the boys with sunnies on and open face helmets. They can't see jack shit. That's why I wear a full taste when I go touring. In my case, I've got a ball rear tyre. I'm booked in. As soon as I get to Chiang Rai to get it replaced. So Palmy and I are in Chiang Rai and uh, my tyre, back tyre shot. It wasn't shot, but Palmy and I both checked it before we left Pattaya, but it's shot now. We found a shop that actually can has the tyre. Uh, he's looking around a bit, I'm not sure about replacing the tyre, but he has the tyre. Um, it's five o'clock in the afternoon, so we just scarfed in, he waited for us. Um, we'll be on our way out of here tomorrow morning, um, once the tyre's replaced, so here we go. There's the dude looking. And that's the tyre there. Pretty well say she's rooted. I didn't really want to replace this tyre because I have a brand new Commander 3 sitting in Pattier to go on my new fat spoke rim, but hey, safety first I guess. I'd be killing myself, or not literally, but I'd be kicking myself if I actually came down because I lost the bike because of no tread. Anyway, there you go. Happy days. So it's the morning of day five, it's just before 7 a.m. We're in Chiang Rai, done about, we're gonna do about 300 odd kilometers today to uh, Nan, but we're going out via Puchifa, which is right on the Lao border. Um, everyone keeps raving on, it's a must do, must do, so we'll do it. Having said, it's only 300 odd kilometers, it's about a six and a half hour ride. Happy days. Just leaving Chiang Mai and they've just built a market in the middle of a street. Wasn't expecting this, but sort of kind of quaint, I guess. Might just pick up some chilies here. Mmm, something smells real good. So we've just been through the village of Thong, throwing our left up. Towards Puchifa, we're about 40 minutes outside of Puchifa. Looks like it's going to be some interesting mountainous roads in here. Shame about that. <laughs> Gee whiz, steep. About 18 k's outside of Poochifar. This is probably the steepest road I've ever been on. It's wet. I'm going downhill with a lot of weight on. Just in first gear, trying to stay off the brakes because you will lose your brakes down there. far and guess what it is flogging down which is not great for the roads we're on which are really sharp tight and steep anyway it is what it is uh, we're just going to stay out of the rain here for a bit and hopefully it goes away in a little while and we'll continue on we'll head south to Nam. we're right on the Lao Thai border here but unfortunately it's not worth going up the top when it's pissing down rain like this unfortunate but anyway well, we're leaving Poochifar, turned very ugly, very quickly. We've just looked at the weather map and it is shit all the way down to Nan. Put the wets on, had no choice. This is going to be friggin' ugly in the wet.
But we've come down from Puchi far because of the rain. Of course, it's I put my wet weather gear on, so that means it's stopped raining, as it always does. And we're sort of heading south, following the Lao border. Pretty another windy, twisty road, but not as bad as the ones we've been on. We normally love them, but not in the rain. But this one's dry, which is great. Very scenic up in the mountains up here. So we've just got smashed coming into Nan, but this we finally got to our hotel. It's just before six o'clock. On special, 600 baht. So I don't know what that is. Uh, 30 bucks, less than 30 dollars, 25 dollars. Really schmick place. Really schmick place. Balcony, chair looking over the pool. Seven thirty AM, we're all packed and gone, heading out of Narn. Two hours time, weather permitting, should be in Lake Sirica. Look at all those big clouds in front of us though. So. Weather forecast says we should be all good till this afternoon. Let's see. Happy days. I'm halfway between Narn and Lake Siricat. Looking for a coffee, as always. Shame the roads are wet. This has been nice windy roads through here, but it's been really wet and slippery. Weather forecast said 20% chance of rain. Hey, go figure that, eh? Weather forecast is wrong again. I guess it's the same anywhere in the world. They just get it wrong. I'm heading for Pak Nai fish Fishing Village, which is where we're going to go across the ferry on Lake Siricat. Very nice road, this. Shame about it being wet, but hey, that's biking, as I always say. Look at this. Can you imagine in the dry doing this? So we've arrived at Paknai Fishing Village, waiting for the ferry. Just do what we're told. Just waiting to be told what to do. Not much water in here, pretty muddy, but then again it is all volcanic red dirt around here. I'd imagine it's very lush and... So 150 baht a piece. Literally, he was pushing us off the edge. Yeehaw! We're on the 1268. It's just dawned and we've just left a quaint little waterfall. It's just dawned on me, I've been here before. Uh, going the other way, me and my mate Stu were going and uh, I was on the street glide and it dropped the uh, balancer off the crank. Not only an hour up the road here to put me out of action for a couple of days, but Harley Davidson in Chiang Mai came out, picked me up 
300 k's away Chiang Mai is and um, got me going again the following day which was good. This road looks completely different going the other way also the soaking wet as well but anyway well we're about an hour outside of Louis. The roads today have been just sensational. Um, I don't know how to describe them, but for a bike rider, they're heaven. We've had some snotty rain that made some areas a bit ugly, but hey, that's life. It'll probably be dark by the time we get in. <laughs> Dinner at Salon Loi with all the gang. <laughs> so that's day three to six in the can. Always remember what I say, people. Life can be ever so short, therefore, live life today.